All of us need to explore. To go out there and see what's over the next horizon. When you get there, your heart beats a little faster. You're focused. You're living in the moment. Just reflecting on the number of miles that I've run in a year, it's somewhere between three and 4,000 miles. And if you think about that, if you think about the moments of what I would call extreme bliss in a race where everything is coming together, maybe that's 10 or 20 miles. From a percentage standpoint, it's minuscule. For all of that effort and the training that you've put in place, it's worth it. I spend my whole year living in the van, traveling from one destination to another. This is my climbing journal. Every route I've climbed. One of the most memorable moments was pitch like 22 of the nose. I put my rope away and I switched to soloing. And I was just lie back into the pancake lake and I just had a moment of like, this is like surreally cool. I was like, I can't believe I'm up here with no rope, just climbing like this is rad. Alaska and BC is kind of the ultimate. Under perfect conditions, it's like anything you want to ski, you can ski. And you might get a chance for that one moment. Sometimes it doesn't even happen in a season, but that's okay. Then all the conditions come together, you know it's time, and that's when you're standing on that peak for that one moment. One, drop. Well, sometimes on the weekends, I go to the gunks, and it's really fun because there's a lot of trees and plants. When I grow up, I want to be a professional rock climber. <laughs> I like to explore hard climbs, but the most important thing is to have fun. Those moments when you're just fluid and flowing. There's the one moment. If I get a few of those a year, I am fully satisfied. So what drives us to do the crazy things we do? To run 100 miles, to spend 19 days on an alpine wall. It's those experiences that are the richest in life. Oh, yeah. <laughs>